What is up? Ian Vito and Liz are coming back at you with another long ass reaction. Trust me, it's gonna be a long one, y'all. So we're gonna try this again. Long. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we try to do this live. Live and just no, complications. Oh, forget it. <laughs> just com oh, straight certain, up complications. Certain word but, just popped up. Yeah, and just, 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 it, it didn't work. But the as, whole stream. as you can see by the, the, the title up there, that this is a uh, yeah, this is the uh, controversial. Very, very controversial. Yeah. So. uh there's, there's gonna be some controversial things said. So, all right. So this, so we can keep this up. Vito's gonna say "uncle." Then I'm gonna give it like a little five second pause, and then I'm gonna say the other word. So, this is "uncle Tom." <laughs> that's, that's 2020 uh, full and, movie with special and, introduction and to be clear, from Chad Jackson. We're not afraid to say it. It's the damn algorithm. Yeah, it's because we don't want no issues. Not Rumble, because Rumble is going to be fine. Yeah, Rumble, this should be fine on Rumble. Like, I don't know if this will make it on YouTube. Like, Ian could probably put out the unedited version on Rumble. Yeah, I, bro, I don't know if this will make it on YouTube. Like, you, know, gonna have to edit it. you know what? Like I said, it's going to be a good thing for you to watch with your dad while you edit it. Get, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'll just have to, yeah, I'll just have to edit this. So, uh, word. Oh, no, that can't be there. And please give this Censor one some, that. be patient with this one, because the thing is an hour and 47 minutes. This is going to take a long-ass time to upload. Yeah. The, like, videos over, like, 40 or 50, they take a while to get up there. So just be patient with this upload, please. So sit back, grab the popcorn, and enjoy. Here we go. What's up, everyone? My name is Chad Jackson. I'm featured in the film you're about oh, to watch. Oh, and oh, just, just to be clear, Liz and I have seen it. Ian has never seen yes, it. Yes, I have not seen this before. We, we, need to clear we, we got a little piece, like a little five minutes let into me, it. Let me clear she hasn't that, seen it bit, as much I, as I have. I, I, I watched most of it, but she can't answer. Yeah, I, I just like listened to it here and there. I couldn't like really look at it because... Too much? No, I was driving. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there, there you go. I was in, I was in the work truck and the, the video was on the other side. Oh, so there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair, fair enough. So there, there I remember half of it, so I but, So you're more my listening. Reaction, so my reaction to this is going to be pretty much like. It was. It's a good reaction. Refresh. Ref, yeah. So. The only thing is we forgot the popcorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bought a bag specifically for this. Too. But uh, let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Because yeah. uh, again, this, this certain parts made her cry. Yeah, it, it's like it pissed me off. Yeah. I give a fair warning. If for vulgar, vulgar, all the vulgar crap. If you see me laugh, I sometimes disguise like frustration as laughter because yeah. it helps me like cope with it. And so if something so like incredibly illogical, I laugh at it. I'm mad at it, but I'm laughing at the stupidity of it. Same with me. If I start laughing, I don't agree with what's being said. Y yeah. That, uh, it, so, yeah. Like, some stuff is so, same. like, stupid. It's like your anger is hysteria because you're like, wow. Uh, and I'm, mm -hmm. and I, I think that if Ian thought I agreed or did any of the thing, he'd probably beat the shit out, try to beat the shit out of me. I don't think Vito would be coming here. <laughs> 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 Vito, <laughs> I, I don't think we'd be I don't think the this. channel would exist. No. <laughs> So, she probably wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> so, um, I, the same with me. I sometimes I, I just like, okay, you know, not not because I'm making fun of that or laughing, you know. It's just, wow, this is for real. This is what's yeah. really going on. That that's some things are just so shocking. Laugh you, you laugh at the surprise yeah. of it, but especially what's going on in these days. Yeah. Oh my god. But sometimes you need that shock value to start. For the real, yeah, for real. Because conversations need to be had. And that's what we about to do. Let's do it. Let's hit this. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch Uncle Tom, executive produced by Larry Elder, directed by Jessa Malone. This is a film that a lot of people are crediting as being integral to their waking up experience. Over the past month or two alone, there's been this emergence of YouTubers who are reviewing the deleted scenes and are basically awestruck at the truth that this project reveals. Ah, this is good. We invite you to watch the film, to take to your social media and tell your friends about it, to review it. And we also invite you to brace yourself for part two, which will be released later this year, August 26, 2022. So without further ado, I present to you Uncle Tom. So 
So, real quick, what's what's an Uncle Tom to you? Well, the way I was raised, I, Jesus, because they're gonna I get the even said it that way. way. The way I found out, found the way I was raised, because you know where I was. Raised. Raised. I was ra- Good lord. <laughs> And this, is why you can't, this is why Vito can't bring me nowhere. <laughs> and, 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 I'm getting my voice back, guys. Yes, I know it's a little, little off, but it's all right. Um, I was just, the way I found out about it, it's pretty much like a sellout. Mm. Someone who um will, like, sell their own people out or go along with anything stupid for their own per- personal, like, beneficiary. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, so... um. Yeah, pretty much just a sellout. That's, that's the that's the main word I've always heard associated with a sellout. So if somebody would call you that, you'd be offended. Um, I mean, I've been called it before, but it's just because of where I grew up. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I can't control where I like. Hey, I can't control where so I grew that's up. That's one of like, the stupidest reasons. Like, um, I've been called I've been called it before because I grew up in the suburbs. I'm like, okay, where was I going to live at ten years old? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't pay taxes or anything at 10 years well, old. Uh, well, obviously, any reason to be racist is stupid. Yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. But that's one of the stupidest because so, of where you grew up. I, um, I'm not, like, uh, the definition of that. Mm. I'm not entirely sure of it. So, I forgot to ask that the other day. Like, like what's the definition of an uncle? Yeah, I'm, like, a little confused okay. about it. So, you know, the like, best way I can explain I, it. I think they give the definition. The best way I can explain yeah. it to you is, uh, so... All right. You know the history of Harriet Tubman freeing the slaves, right? Oh, she yes. knows that history. Oh, yeah. So yeah. one of Very Harriet, well. one of um, Harriet Tubman's quotes She's my was, girl. "I would have saved more slaves, but some didn't even realize they were slaves." Yep. yep. So you would always have the people who like would break down the fence on the plantation in the middle of the night to break away. You would have black people breaking away, but then you would have some black slaves who would fix the fence and go tell the master. People just escaped. Mm-hmm. So, they're called like an Uncle Tom because not necessarily they enjoy that life. They're too afraid to run. Right, it's the only life they know. Yeah, because yeah. since little babies, they were pretty much slaves. Not, not, you get yeah. what I mean. So, like, some slaves really didn't think they were slaves. They thought they were being taken care of. Yeah. Right. Because it's just indoctrinated in their head mm-hmm. so much. But pretty much, yeah, like, Uncle Tom is like, it, it, and you don't have to be a black to be. It could be Hispanic people. It can be Asian people. Right, yeah. It can even be white people. Right. Yeah. So it's like when it's people, just a derogatory term for yeah. someone who's enslaved to somebody else. Yeah. A, a lot of also what's um associated is the term race traitor, which is mm-hmm. dumb as shit. That's real stupid. Which is yeah, it's just dumb as Because tech, we're all part of the human race. A, a lot of a lot of white women get called that when they date um black dudes or Hispanic people. Which is they get called race traitors. And then black people get called it if they date yeah. outside. Yeah. Out of black. Yeah. Well, it's, well, again, it's, well, you guys, you should see the looks that we get. It's, 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 it's dumb. Ama- like, it's amazing. The yeah. looks like, that we seven get. billion yeah. people, you expect all black people to only be with each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's dumb. There's no point to it. But I figured we get that out of the way before we get this started. Yeah. Because I think we made it last time on the live to this. It wasn't too far after about this point. five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was about, yeah, I think it was about like five minutes. Yeah, because I, me- I remember this introduction here. Yeah. yeah. It started off okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it, was the, it was the two dudes arguing in the street. I care deeply about black people. <laughs> and the issues of black people. But I care deeply about the issues of all people. Yep. I want to look at things objectively. When I look at what policies I believe will help not only black people, but what would help all people, I voice that. See what he said right there? I don't look at just policies that would help just black people. I look at policies that would affect all people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when you're setting forth policy, you're not just putting forth policy to affect certain people. Yeah, that's like what the job is like. You're supposed to. Exactly. That's like you're you're just. It's not just only white people or only black people or or only Hispanic people who live in America. You're supposed to. It's supposed to be with the whole country. Because 
because then that just defeats the purpose of um, equality. Exactly. 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 If they just because then then um that um the group of people will be like okay we're just for us for the mm. black community and that's it not white people not hispanic people or nothing like that it's just you know it's just it's it starts really small and it gets big you see what i'm saying if people yeah don't, I don't understand. understand it that way which is why a if, lot of if, black if, people if you would have said it that way or you know right. document yeah which is like if you ask a lot of black people who think obama didn't do anything for them but if you think if you and i and i saw an interview that obama was talking about he goes if you think about it how do you want me to turn over four years of oppression in eight years you can't do that i know but trump did more for the black community than obama did and he, and he did more for, in four than Obama did in eight. So it's like it, it to it, me. It, it's a statistical fact that he did more. Like in my like, just I'm, I'm just speaking like, and whether I don't care what your skin color is. I, I know it, it, it'd be like if for but, but Ian. I, I know what you're saying, but that's giving him a pass. Trump did more in four years for the black community than he did in eight. Wages increased for the black community. More kids were going to school. He fully funded the black colleges, which Obama didn't even do. He did more for the black community. He did prison reform. Which we got to get privatized prison out of there. Uh, definitely. Like that, that's but just... Trump started that, not Obama. Obama left his people locked up. Trump so... started that. So I can I I so can I, know what you're I saying. can see it in both I know sides. What you're saying, I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. No, no, I, 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 gotta understand, say, I, gotta, I understand. I got to put forth the facts. I, I understand. It, it'd be like the same thing for. And like, that's not just offending Trump. No, no, I, I see what you're saying. It's but you got to give the man credit where the credits due. I I was just looking at it from like. I, I don't I get a numerical. St it's, it's what about like, starting the 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 work the, the work zones? In the black community, starting trying to get more people to go to work. Trump with Tim Scott was doing that in the black community. Okay, okay, so like work and then like also college. Okay, he was actually okay. trying to build up okay. the black community. Okay, okay, I can. This okay. is never talked about because okay. the mainstream media never wants to give him credit for that. Okay, okay. How come Obama couldn't do any of that in the eight years that he was there? Trump did it in less than technically four. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm waiting for y'all to call me uh, Uncle Tom now. I'm waiting for y'all to call me it. Which is ridiculous. I'm just not. looking for... I, I He's have, allowed to have his opinion. I have no problem looking... I don't care how fucked up the perspective is or how radical it is. It, sometimes, in order to figure stuff out, you got to lay all the variables out on the mm -hmm. table and look at every everything exactly. to see where everything. Especially going. doing this. That's and how you. That's that's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm always gonna check them on the facts. Yes, that, that's, that's what I'm, that's, that's what called I'm gonna do. That's just called critical problem solving. Exactly. Like that's, that's that's why we can have these conversations. Yeah, that's critical thinking. It's not. And we're not flipping the table. Yeah, it's show. critical thinking. <laughs> it's exactly. not. I mean, if you ask me, we're acting more mature than the United States Congress right now, who just yells at each other for no reason. Yeah. So. No, I see what you're saying. I, mean, I, I see what I, you're saying. I, I, didn't, I didn't used to like Trump at all. I didn't, like I, I thought that he was the one that put the kids in the cages. Those were Obama. Obama built the cages. And when I found out, I'm like, what? Yeah, I because think because I Obama was, I was the watching. I was watching the news. I was listening to the to to the media instead of doing my you Your know research. my research. And that's why a lot of people, especially people like the Hispanics, the, the minorities, they they just listen to the media and that's it. They don't do the the research. And that's why they believe and they just go against the people that are actually trying to better this country and bring, um, unite all of us equality and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm personally just tired of the cycle of crap. Mm -hmm. I think that the whole thing has just been turned into a chess game and we're oh. just the pawns. Oh, of course. That's what, that's where we're of pawns. Course. Yeah, the two biggest parties are because they got all the money of the Democrats and the Republicans. They got all the money. Right. Independents don't have money. No, Libertarians don't have the Green Party. They don't got the. That's why they're, that's and, and most of the time those those parties are trash. They have no real candidate. Yeah, they, they they all of the money is between Democrats and Repu that's because again, whoever has the money has the power. We got to stop voting for people who care about the party. Yes, and vote for people that care about the country. Country exactly. Country, the yeah. community. Yeah. 
that care about all the people, exactly. not just certain people. Yeah. Because we all have to live here But together. guess what? That is so hard to find. Honestly. Because a lot of people are for this honest, instead of for the community and all that. Doing the Democrat versus Republican thing, it's like a gang mindset, man. Oh, yeah. They only worried about their, like, mm -hmm. for honestly, if we're, if we're being straight up honest. And because I stand in opposition. But to be fair. That makes me. Yeah. At least the people on the Republican side are willing to have discussions with people. On the Democrat side, if you don't 100% believe they're thinking, they toss you out. And you're ridiculed and you're attacked. You just shouldn't be like that. I will say. The one thing I can say about Republicans, they rally together better than Democrats do. No, no, no. Democrats rally together behind a single no, idea. No, but what I mean is like you don't like people within like the Republican Party, you don't really see them beefing within their own party. The Democrats beef within their own party like every damn year. Yes and no. Like you'll whether it's like like the Democrats are tearing themselves apart right now. You yeah, have, like you have the far left and the moderates all trying to do exactly. Something. But like when there's a set point, Republicans are like, okay, we got a set point. We're going this way. Yeah. Democrats are like, no, we're going this way. 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 But when the Democrats are all in a the line, they know how to rally and attack. They know how to form a. That, that's that 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 is true. They know how to they know how to protest the hell out of something. <laughs> <laughs> Republicans don't protest shit. Ladies, all I got to say is, you know, get your leggings on, get your sports bras on, go out to the stores and just, you know, <laughs> that, that, you know like you was doing. That, you know that's what, what y'all did. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. Nine out of ten times, a big protest, protest, yeah. fire in the background, protest. Yeah, like, mm. but yeah, I remember seeing all the, during like the George, like during George Floyd. There's there, fire going up. Fire, but oh, peaceful. All the ladies were like this. Not violence. Not <laughs> and they're captioned Black Lives Matter. I'm like, you just you're not doing shit, woman. You just standing there for a picture. Yeah, not nothing beats the fiery but peaceful with the flames roaring. Oh. <laughs> Guy, right, let's get into yeah. it. And Uncle Tom. I used to get very offended and upset whenever people would call me an Uncle Tom. I've been there. I think I'm in a place now when someone calls me that, like, I kind of pity them because yeah. of their ignorance. Mm -hmm. It just shows that they haven't actually read the book. Yep. Oh, oh excuse me. Whenever someone calls you an Uncle Tom, what they're trying to communicate is that either you just do not like black people mm -hmm. and you see all black people as trash, or they're trying to communicate that, oh, you're just trying to fit in with white people. You're trying to be accepted among, among whites. And so I'm gonna call you this derogatory word to put you in your place and to remind you, Try you will never be accepted by, by whites. You'll always be just a black nigger. Yeah, that was the first one. Nah, that, that, this, is what, this is as far as we got in the line. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. No, 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 it was the... the, the no, was no, it that, was under, that was on the deleted scenes when they were in the street. And then... Yeah, because yeah, I remember the two dudes arguing, and, and that's when we were like, YouTube was like, all right, get this off. <laughs> Instagram. And our stream was screwed. Yeah, right? yeah, and then the stream was screwed the rest of the thing, time. And commenting it just to call me Uncle Tom, House Negro. I, You know, I... I never thought that I would be called, you know, such racist and derogatory terms. Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom, coon, bedwench. Boot liquor, chucking and jiving. House Negro, coon. Uncle Tom and coon. Matter of fact, I have a coon award over there. Coon of the Year Award. They call us the coons. Coon. Coon. For Indians like me, you're an Uncle Patel. Uncle Ruckus. But praise be the white god and his son, White G. The guy from Get Out. They put his face on my post. I find that. Wait, the was that Officer Tatum? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I was like, why does that dude look familiar? Yeah, that's Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. The American experience for me has been, for the most part, very good. I think the funniest thing I've ever been called, the most absurd thing, is, is a black white supremacist. It's like the old Chappelle skit, Clayton Bigsby. Chappelle! Ah, oh. White power! <laughs> yeah. Candace Owens was called a black white supremacist. Bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> Why they have to stick Dave Chappelle like that? <laughs> Why? You remember the skit? No, it, it just I, I forgot remember. about the skit. It just no, I they, remember they, they call, they, the skit. They trying to make the skit come alive. They calling her a black white supremacist. Yeah. I'm not hating on Candace Owens, but I'm going to say this. Did you see the Candace Owens and Kanye picture? Yes, I did. I, I thought it was a little weird. I'm not going to lie. Because only the only reason why I get confused with Kanye, only reason why I had a problem with Kanye doing it is because anytime a corporation screws the man out of money, right, mm-hmm. then he's pro-black. And he wants to say black lives matter, all this, yada, yada, yada. But then, anytime something goes good for is going good, it, like things if things are going good for Kanye for like a month, yeah. it's like he ain't he don't want anything to do with black like black people. But it's do, weird. Do you, do you know why he did that though? So many people are missing the messaging on why he did that. I mean, I hundred percent, one hundred percent agree that I just think all lives matter. Like that's his point. Yeah, his point is that if people are going to be able to walk around, with Black Lives Matter, what's wrong with this? I, I can I, I get it. All Lives Matter is flagged as a racist statement on YouTube. On Twitter, on Facebook, if you type off Lives Matter or White Lives Are Okay, it's flagged as racism. Yeah, just, just said the great example. Remember that? Um, he's, he's, that making, okay. he's making he's trying to make a point. Okay. Okay. Remember that um, reaction that we did with the um, with the um, the teenager that complained about uh, what talking was going about, on? You're talking about the school, the, the school, school kid? yeah, 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 I've, yeah. And he said all lives matter, and then yeah. the teacher erased, erased it, it, and it she couldn't board. give him an answer. Yep, she couldn't tell him why. She couldn't tell him why. But Black Lives Matter can be posted all throughout the school. And again, I have no problem with Black Lives. I think all lives matter. Exactly. You know, I just, <laughs> what gets me is that you put something out good in the world, mm-hmm. and nowadays in five seconds, the shit, it, it only takes five, not even a day, Dude, for someone to hijack it and ruin it. Look, look at all the stuff that's coming out about that organization now, about all the corruption. Oh, yeah. I support mo- the movement. I 100%. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. I don't support the organization. But that's because they flip flop way too damn much. Do you see what Kanye is trying to do now? I, I think sometimes it's just really hard to understand Kanye. I know. Trust me, I know. Like it's just really hard to understand. That's why sometimes. Candace was doing it too, because that's exactly what she even articulated that in the video I seen the other day. It's. I don't. It's it's like I don't think Kanye is a bad person or anything. No. Does he I have th- a couple screws loose? I, I think the problem that fucks him over, he got mental health and he don't take care of it. I get a lot. I of, think he has a some, lot of artists have mental. Health he has issues. severe. I think he has severe mental health issues and probably. he doesn't take care of it. But sometimes he does do things that are right. Yeah, there, there's because there be times where I'm like, all right, Kanye, I'm vibing with you on this, and then he'll do something like crazy. And it's like, honey, what the hell are you doing? Mm-hmm. But I get what he was trying to do with that. I understand it. Like, I'm not, because you know. People are, he could walk around with Black Lives Matter and people will shower things at him. I see he what you're saying. He says all, he says white lives matter. Like, of course do white people matter. Yes, white people matter. There's, that, that shouldn't be a bad thing. There's a black people, Hispanic people, everybody matters. Yeah, the problem it, is white like, people don't matter more than black people. Black people don't matter. Exactly. Like, I'm like, it feels like it's a battle between white and black. It feels like they're trying to make it exactly. Exactly. There's, there you isn't know? that thing, oh, let, they're let's trying to make it. Let's just forget about that. the other um, they're trying to make races it that. and it's just, you know, because that's what all the media sees is... White it's, people up here and black people I down would say here. It's, That's what the media sees. And no, it's, it's, not, not, it's, not, it's, not, true. it's not It's not true. It's, it's part of, a large part of it's the media. Another part of it is it's the way people freaking raise their kids. Name me another country that's, that has made more black millionaires. Don't worry, I'll wait. I, yeah, I can't think. But I think it's funny. Like If you take black people or even Hispanic people and put it like in, in other countries, yep. other countries don't call us by our skin color. They just say, oh, you're an American. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, 
So why is it that oh we black God. and white in our own country, but if we go to another country, we're Americans? Exactly. That don't even make damn sense. Because we're all Americans here. Yeah. That don't even make damn sense. Because they see us as because Americans. They'll see the media makes us look at color. Yep. The school right now is making the kid. They're forcing the kids to look at color. It's an inside job. They want us to freaking fight against each other. Because when we're fighting, they against want each us other, to be like a like now. a like a civil war. That's, that's what they want. It's. <laughs> you know what we should do? Everyone put signs on. Just say, "I am beige." There you go. Just wear a sign. Just say, we are beige. I'm gray. I'm just, I'm just gray. I'm just, there you go. I'm, I'm just, just gray. I'm red. <laughs> I'm red. Just be real. People say crazy things. Leftists say the craziest shit to you. Don't try to twist what I say. But that's what you're saying. Your narrative. That, that was, is not what I'm saying. That is what you're saying. That is, you can't tell me what I I'm saying. I know you, Lenore. You, that's you what you're don't saying. You know me. You sound like all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, and guess what? You sound like all them Uncle Tom's. Now, See, how yeah? about that? I knew it. Lenore, now, it's good to hear from that? you. It's good to hear from you. Go drop dead. All right. Thank you, Lenore. Wow. What a sweet lady. And Uncle Tom is somebody who has sold out <laughs> nice by person. embracing the white man, by becoming a Republican, by rejecting the idea that you're a victim, uh, by supporting things like hard work, accountability, and low taxes, uh, by refusing to think of yourself as a black person first, as opposed to as an American who is black. Your skin color exactly. should dictate how you think and what you see. Exactly. Exactly what Larry Elder said. Oh, man. Like, I'm an American who happens to be white. <sighs> and I mean, it's just like, what do you say at this point? Dude? Like, my question is... Because we still got another hour before. That, like, yeah. yeah. Like, my, so, my question... How long are we going to keep doing this The only way I can operate as a human shit? being is via my skin color. I can't operate via my intelligence or the things I have accomplished, my resume should be I'm black. And Uncle Tom uh, has traditionally been a black Unfortunately, person that's what people that tried at. to serve and scurry favor with white people. So they believe that I want to be accepted in the white community. It's kind of like the house Negro back in slavery. See, see that's what's what unfortunate. Is, what is they, they act like they're trying to be something instead of trying to better themselves. They're trying to fit into a world. I don't know. Why can't it be that they're trying to be better men? Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be that they're trying to fit into the white society? Oh, that that's going to come later on because this I remember yeah. clearly. And that's what pissed me off. But yeah. Let's, let's come they're just defining what Uncle Tom is right there. For oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, trust me, this gets heavy. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You, you like, know, I remember like, a certain part, and it's just, just like how much, how many more generations are we gonna do this for? Hopefully, this is the last one. Like, how many, how many are we gonna do this for, I man? Think this will it starts with us, unfortunately. Like, I'm in the house, M Master, what can I do for you? And I'm gonna suck up to them and leave my people behind. Most black people don't believe that other blacks can be independent free thinkers or, 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 or you stand definitely up don't. or stand up for what is right. They believe that if a black person stand up for what is right, they'll sell out their Uncle Tom. The white people have to be brainwashed. As my late grandfathers used to say, who lived to be 94, I does not care. Because <laughs> he didn't have a lot of education. He said, I does not care. So I don't care if they call me names. You know, just meet me at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll compare bank accounts. <laughs> I am very well optimistic uh, well about the future. Uh, frankly, I have seen certain changes in the United States over the last two years that surprised me. I've seen levels of compliance with the Civil Rights Bill and changes that have been uh, most surprising. So on the basis of this, I think we may be able to get a Negro president in less than 40 years. Which probably would have happened if he wasn't... If he, if I still, if MLK had not been assassinated, he would have been the first black president of the country. He, he probably would have he been. Would have, yeah. He would have been. Which is why he was probably assassinated. Yep. Yeah, because he... Conspiracy was... theory alert. 
Like he, he honestly, he he would have been the first black president. Yeah, and, and he would have been. been all about equality. He would have not been all but, about. You know, he would have. I think he would have fixed the system, but. My whole thing that just pisses me off is when you fake ass woke people try to quote MLK. Yeah, that that's what yeah. pisses me off. Because you're usually misquoting. Yeah, him. you're you're misquoting him. In churches, in bars, on the streets, Americans have been celebrating this great landmark in the long struggle for civil rights. In Chicago, the veteran black leader Jesse Jackson broke down in tears. In Atlanta, from the pulpit of Martin Luther King's old church, its pastor declared, tonight, we have seized the promise of America. It's when we elected Obama. Not to sound crazy, but, you know, white people always had Jesus. So they always had that mentality, I could be anything, even God. For me, the image of him is like, who's the most powerful person in the world? Who's considered like a god, basically? It's the president of the United States. Obama became that image for us, like that Jesus. We never looked Which at I, ourselves I, as I, being politicians. I can relate to that. We looked I, at I was, Obama was 08 to what? 08 to uh, was 16. 16? Like, growing up as a young black, I was young then. So 08, I was born in 95, 08 is. 95 to 2005, that's 10 years, plus another three, that's 13. So I was like between middle school and high school. Yeah, you were going into high school. So like at that age, when you see the first black dude, be like the first black person being elected to the president, especially when you've got, like you've learned about slavery, segregation, um, being, being a young black kid just growing up in the suburbs and see how people like look at you differently and stuff. When you see the first black president, like it, it's special to you. Yeah. I'm not gonna like you, and, he, and it, it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican. That shit doesn't matter. After what all black people went through to see that, you can't tell me that doesn't hit you. Like emotionally, that means something to you. Okay, so around that time when I found out about that, around that time I didn't. I wasn't into politics. I wasn't into none of that. Oh, no, right? me neither. I was, I was So young. then I was when, when I heard about, I'm like, yes, yes. Same, yeah. You know, yes, finally, a, a black person. And this is this is what media does to you, okay? And I'm a good example of it because I'm like, yeah, finally, it's not it's not a freaking another white person. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Yeah, but unfortunately, Crazy he me. blew up kids. Unfortunately, but like, he blew up kids. But see, here's the thing that y'all got to understand from at, at what you got to understand. Name me a person who is between the ages of 12 and six, 17 or 16 mm -hmm. from when they first saw Obama. They're not caring about what, like, the whole, like, politics of everything. No. You, I'm a little when, older than you, though. They're that's just, the thing. Well, you're way older than, hey, hey, than him. Hey, hey. You're not saying, way, hey, but, you're hey, way hey. but it's like okay. when little when you see like um little boys and girls whether they're black hispanic what what or puerto rican whatever or mixed mm -hmm. when they see obama you can't get mad at them for being happy to see obama no, you can't get mad no, at because exactly, it was a exactly. historic moment it, it, it yeah. was yeah they, was. they're not paying it's no 14 year old is paying to the paying attention to the details of how the of how the country honestly works. even at that moment when he was just elected you had no idea what he was going to do Ex exactly at mm -hmm. that moment you didn't know what the next eight years were going to entail you didn't know the path that we were going to go down you didn't know he was going to go blow up kids so it's like, but it was still a historic moment. I'm not trying to. Blow I, I see what yeah, you're saying, no, no, it's, but it it's like it, it kind of. But it was I'm a historic not, moment. Like yes. to give you a like to be honest with you, it does like it's upsetting when people say, like are mad when he got elected, and I'm like, they were just mad their guy lost. I, that's what it kind of because it's like you can't say that yes, America is a is, is the it's all about equality, but they get mad when you have a black president. You, that that you, you're you're fighting against what your own country believes in, then, and that's not right. No, I get you on that. Now, do I agree with everything Obama did? No, no I don't agree not. with everything no. his policy. I I don't. Yeah. But was it great to have a uh, to to witness a black president, especially as a little kid? Yeah, hell yeah! I'm not yeah, gonna yeah, say yeah. It, like that what the amazing. hell? That's amazing. Yeah, that and was that, and that proof part, that this country that, yeah can do it exactly. And that part, yes, it was amazing. But the mentality that I had before. 
my mentality should have been, yes, it's awesome. And um, not, not me saying to myself, oh, we're not dealing with another white president. I should have said to myself, oh, uh, let's hope that this person actually does something good for yeah. the country. But see, not having that other mentality that I had before. That's what a lot of people have is that mentality. As, as but but unfortunately, Obama also brought in the celebrity type president. President yeah. shouldn't be like the most popular celebrity type person. He should be the person that's leading this country. You see what I mean? Uh, okay. I understand okay. the moment, but unfortunately, it ushered in like we have to have this someone who can do the job. Is what you're saying? Right. Okay, I can understand that. Because the guy that's there now ain't doing a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I got my reservations about about it right now. You know, I got. I, I gotta give it to you. I got I got questionable. Okay, I got questionable. Right, let's, uh, let's 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 yeah let's yeah, yeah yeah. Ourselves as rappers or football, basketball players, drug dealers. That's why I think Obama was important in becoming president because it mm. gave us that optic. Like we could be whatever we want to be. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. was America finally feeling that we could let go, just let go and say we we finally did it. Progress is here. I cried when he won. That switch turned back real quick, bro. I never thought in my lifetime that it would happen. But it happened tonight. It's a reality. It I can't you it. can't get mad at that. No. I can't get mad at that. I yeah. I can't get mad at that. <laughs> That was America. Yeah. If you're mad at this emotional expression, to me you're against equality. No, I'm not. You're like, I'm like, not. You, I, I'm like, not. When you dream, your dreams can come true. Who would have thought that this year a man like this will be elected as the president of the United States? This is the beauty of America. Exactly. Oh, Exactly. exactly. I agree with that. I exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The I agree beauty with, of this country. Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent You can feel. Oh my God. Yeah. You can feel the energy. The the power. Uh, yeah. That. I 100 percent agree with that. Oh my God. Is he opening? Like is he opening like a business or something? No, he's working. Oh, I oh, okay. became a Christian back in 2009. The year prior, I voted for Barack Obama. I was really passionate about Barack Obama and his policies. Okay. I was having a conversation with a friend, and I was telling him how, like, I'm a Democrat because, you know, the Democrat policy is, is pro-Medicaid, pro government benefits, all these things that can help, you know, poor urban communities. And doesn't the Bible say that we're supposed to look out for poor people? And this friend of mine, who's also a Christian said, well, was it talking about the government or was it talking about you? And I thought, you know, that's very interesting. And so I went back and read it and uh -huh. wow. it was talking about me. Uh -huh. A lot of the way that I saw things began to change. Wow, I didn't, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. I can, that's, 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 I, I didn't think about it. I didn't, I didn't think of that perspective. Mm -hmm. That's a fair point. Yeah. That's a fair point. Okay. All right. All right, my man. But I was still a Democrat. This friend of mine challenged me to go and read the Republican platform right. and read the Democrat platform and see where my values and my views line up. My whole mindset was changing, you know, around this time. And so I had to come up on that offer. I went and I read the entire Democrat platform and I read the entire Republican platform. And I was like, man, I'm a Republican. I have learned to go beyond just listening to what CNN says or even Fox News. I go on Fox News all the time, but I decide to go beyond what they are saying and what they're selling. And I'm able to 
listen and do the research on my own so I know who I believe in, who am I voting for and why. I used to be a Democrat. I used to be hardcore, Barack Obama, the Democrats are only here to, to help the people. They are the, the, the party of the people. And then I found out that the Democratic Party was the party of slavery, Ku Klux Klan, the, the Jim Crow laws. Uh, they were opposed to the Civil Rights Movement. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, which freed the slaves, gave uh, uh, black people citizenship and the right to vote. The Democrats unanimously, unanimously voted against all of those rights Did you and know when that? i found that out and nobody could give me a legitimate stance the way i found the, i um i yes i know so, i knew some of that i forget what i read but i think it i think i was in late high school or early college i forget the name of the book but it was like i could be wrong on this but it was the formulation of like the clan of all of that, I was, I um, read that it was like, it was people who from the Democratic Party who didn't want equality, and people from the Repub Republican Party who didn't want equality. No. So you had people who defected no. from both parties and then no. grouped into. So like, like I said, I could no. be wrong. So no. I, it was mostly made up of uh, Democrat uh, senators, uh, pretty much kids and stuff mostly the Democrats who opposed every amendment and everything. It was Republicans that were freeing the slaves. It was Republicans. Well, it was Lincoln was a Republican. It was. So, Sorry, it was I didn't know about that, yeah. It was Republicans that had to stand up against every single Democrat to pass three, the three amendments to free the slaves. To a man, every Democrat opposed every single civil rights action all the way up and through Martin Luther King's. This See, this is why I don't side with either one, because... Oh, dude, you're going to be having a huge... Th this is why I don't, I don't goes, side with... This is, again, this is going to end up being a two-parter. It's on how the party switched. Yeah. It's like I, I have no other oh, choice but to at least consider what principles does the other side have? What are they offering? This is crazy. Oh, it gets going, dude. When I began to educate myself on the history of the Democratic Party, I learned a lot about Margaret Sanger. The greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world that have disease. And I learned about... Did you hear that? The greatest Grief. sin in the world is bringing children into the world. The greatest sin? Yes. This is the woman who found Planned Parenthood. Plan <laughs> wait, 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 Back. she says sin? The greatest sin. I thought she said the greatest feeling. When I began to educate myself on the Listen. history of the Democratic Party, I learned a lot about Margaret Sanger. The greatest sin in the world is bringing oh, children into the world. She said oh, greatest damn. sin, yeah, damn. The greatest okay. sin in the world is bringing children into the world. So, you're a mistake then? You All right, I gotta, I gotta hear, I gotta hear her, her wow. rationale for it that have disease. And I learned about the birth of the Ku Klux Klan. And I learned about the Jim Crow South. Oh my Klan. God. And I learned about Black Wall Street. The truth. And all of those events. Funny thing about Black Wall Street, they don't teach it to you in school. I didn't learn about Black Wall Street until probably graduating from college and i didn't learn about it from school my family told me about it i they don't there i i don't recall in any textbook that i have re ever been through and ever carried with me any history textbook that i ever ca carried with me through public education not one time did i ever see anything about black wall street you know what the sad part is that every time the black community ever started to get ahead the democrats have knocked them down Every time. Yeah, because I like we were told to um work um build up your own stuff. We did, and Black Wall Street was burned to the freaking ground. We worked to build it up and it was burned to the freaking ground. Yep. So had democratic hands in them. It 
unraveled everything that I knew to be true. Everything that the news media taught me, everything that my own culture taught me. News Nugget. George Washington mural should be covered but preserved according to a San Francisco school board decision. Don't they have better things to do? Do you know what that problem is with that mural? It has a slave in it. That was back then. But they want to cover up history. It had a Native American Indian in it. They don't like that. It's part of history. I focus on three things. Performance, performance, performance. The three things that are my guiding lights, belief in God, belief in myself, and my belief in the United States of America. I learned it from that man right there. My dad worked three jobs until he could live off of two, and he worked two until he could live off of one. He used to be a chauffeur for the Coca-Cola company. And then one day he was asked to drive for the chairman and CEO, Robert W. Woodruff. It was like a 24-7, seven-day-a-week job. I never heard him complain about having to work so hard. I never heard him complain about what the government didn't do to help us. We were poor, but we didn't know it. We didn't have people screaming at us all the time telling us we were poor. My dad encouraged my brother and I to get as much education as you can, because he worked in an environment where the more successful people were the ones that had the greatest amount of education. Success does not come in a straight line. That's true. It's a zigzag. And that's unfortunately, true. a lot of people, especially on the left these days, don't understand that. They think that it's a straight line, that everything is systematically. No. Every person is different. Everybody learns at a different pace. Certain people are better at different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't argue that. You can't be. The way we teach kids these days is completely wrong because everybody's taught the same exact way. The standardized testing system. Just as good. The problem work. with the, the problem with education is it doesn't test your intelligence; it just tests your ability to remember things. It tests. That's teach, all it does. All the education system that yeah. stays in America teaches you how to be the good a good worker. It's all all like if if go, just going through school like if you want to just if if you want to pass just remember if as long as you can remember shit especially like if you can cram it all in your head and remember it you're fine. That's what I mean. It teaches you how to be a good worker. Yeah. That it, it literally there's there's no there's no there's no intelligence like no the whole way the education is done today is completely like accurate. like for um I took geometry in tenth grade I'm twenty seven now I haven't used geometry for shit really, <laughs> really? like you haven't had to find the circumference of anything I mean like <laughs> small things but it's not like you know. <laughs> I'm not out here, I mean, you know. Sometimes you think that the things they show us is like useless because we're not going to use it. We're not going to remember it. But it's like when they make like calculus a requirement in some states, and I'm like, how many kids are going to be mathematicians when they grow up? Like, really think about it. How many kids you know want to be engineers? If a kid doesn't want to be an engineer, yeah, it depends on what you're really working in, though. That's it, yeah. true. Sure. Yeah. Math is actually used in a lot. Oh, of whoa, whoa, things. why? Oh, there we go. There we go. We were we were foggy. Sorry, guys. We're back. Camera's oh. back in. But Oof. education is important. I will hundred percent say. Yes. Hundred percent. Education yeah. is one of the most important. Yes, a hundred percent. If not the most important. Yeah. An actual education. Education. Yeah. Not somebody not being <laughs> taught somebody's beliefs. <laughs> being taught actual things that matter. That honestly, that's one reason why I'm afraid. Like, I'm not against religion, but when they say put God back into schools, I'm afraid of how they're gonna do it. Because you got a lot of people who use religion to justify being ignorant assholes. If you can, if they teach the book, it's one thing. 
not exp not trying to force them. Yeah, don't, and don't don't put your own personal bias, religious bias, towards a ten year old. That's it. that's not your right. I don't care what teacher or principal you are, you don't do that. Teaching shit. and forcing are two different things. Yeah. So that that's one thing. I, I'm over here looking like we still live and shit. I'm used to, I'm used to the live oh, chat. I'm over here chat, looking right? for the chat, guys. Yeah, like, <laughs> no one's. I'm like, why is no one talking? Ah, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys are talking in the comments. Exactly. I'm over here like I was. Oh. Just, I was literally just about to ask Vito why is no one in the chat. <laughs> We're literally 14 minutes into this. Minute. So much discussion, oh my God. man. No, it just won't. Yeah. Uh, wait. Wow. We're, we're going to try and get through because I think. What, what time period? What time you got to go to the film? About a half hour. We got to leave. We okay. Leave. So oh, sure. what time time period went? Probably about. 20 minute mark? 20 minute mark. 20 to oh, Depends on how much discussion we have. Yeah, sure. Jesus. We yeah. might make it to the 30 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when I go to a job, they're going to discriminate against me. Man, what about white privilege? I don't want to hear a lick of that crap anymore. You're stronger than that. You're more powerful than that. I'll tell you what, I go to a job interview, and someone don't give me an opportunity. I'm going to apply for every single job on the block until I get a job. I don't need no handouts. I don't need your excuses. I'm going to go harder than everybody else for that job. Because guess what? Even if a guy is discriminating against you, you don't want to work for that motherfucker anyway. Put it this way, man. The guy that treats you like shit in the interview. You want to work for that guy? Uh, you, you see what I mean? What... Why are you bitching about not getting that job? Why would you want to work for that kind of guy? Bro, mm -hmm. the, the, first of all, we need to stop the stereotypes of all oh, oh, black people want handouts. There's a lot of white people who want handouts too, bro. But, but, the, but the sad part is people expect black people to want yeah, handouts. Yeah, but bro. You, you got, That's what he's fighting against. That stereotype that you got to get rid of that mentality. Dude, yeah, and, and you, and you got lazy people no matter what the damn ethnicity is. Exactly. And, and the thing is, oh, did I really earn this? Yeah. You know, like it's it's confusing. Yeah, you 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 got lazy black people. You got lazy Hispanic people. Lazy Asian people. Lazy lazy white people. Oh, yeah. You got lazy people everywhere you go. You got lazy humans. Yeah, yeah. there's lazy, lazy human beings, man. Unfortunately, there's lazy humans. They're beings. like shit. <laughs> You don't and get you nothing if you're lazy. And you put yourself in position, you will be successful. Exactly. Fair enough. I can't argue that. I never saw myself as handicapped because I was black, I was a woman, that I came from poverty. It was just not the way I processed the world. As someone who got a GED, went to a community college, then went on to get a four-year degree, graduated magna cum laude, Damn, while bro. I was working 40 hours a week. Damn, you probably never heard of this woman. At the community college library. My See, life I, has taken many turns. I married at 16, I dropped out of school. I'd By the time out, I was man. 21, I had three small children. Damn. I had no idea that I would end up going to college and becoming a university professor. Damn! Power to that woman, man. Respect. Graduate school was very interesting for me in a lot of ways. I had this experience in a course that was being taught by a white female. She was actually a white liberal. At some point in the classroom, I'm sure I'd said something that really irked her because she turned to me and she yelled, you'll never be able to change the fact that you're a black woman. And I interpreted that to mean that I was handicapped whether I knew it or not. There I learned that I was black, I was poor, I was a woman, and that I was not supposed to have accomplished the things that I had already accomplished, which was success. By then it was too late. When I was a kid, I went to a summer camp in an area of California called Yucaipa. You see that? That's what's ridiculous, being told that you're never going to make it. Your skin color is never going to hold you back. You should let never let somebody telling you that you're going to be held back. Your effort should be what holds you back or not. And I just want to point out, like, no shit. I can't change that I'm black. No shit. Liz can't change that she's Hispanic. No. Vito can't change that he's white. It, it, like, the hell? I, we can't wash it off. Even though, that, like, even though Michael Jackson found a way. Look, but. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Let, let MJ time. rest in peace, bro. Every time, right? He's <laughs> always got to say something like out there. Damn. MJ's like, really, Vito? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I'm over here minding my business. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to throw he found the way. He found the way. <laughs> oh, man. But, like, to me, y'all just care about skin color too damn much. Exactly. But too again, damn much. We're being raised these days to look at color first. Yeah. But we need to stop yeah. looking at color first. Nah, for real. Y'all, y'all gotta stop, man. Nah, I'm good. Really bucolic, flowers everywhere. It was just wonderful. It was a Boy Scout jamboree, and there were hundreds of Boy Scouts from all over California. And from what I can tell, there were just a handful of blacks. I was in a cabin with maybe seven or eight kids, and we'd been together now for three, four days. And there was one kid, he and I got into some sort of argument, I don't remember why, and he called me a nigger. And I literally had to restrain the other kids from killing this guy. I mean, they were just gonna kill him. They were more angry about it than I was. And so I never really felt that those who are bigots, the racists, were in the majority. I never really felt that. I always felt that people who were bigots intuitively were in the minority and most people yep. didn't feel that way. That seemed to be consistent with my own personal experiences. I was always confident. See, he told the whole story what happened, not just when the kid said the word to him. Most people want to tell that story of the racism, but not how everybody else reacted around. Okay. You see what I mean? Okay. He had all, most of the other campers went after the other kid for doing it. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. You never really get the whole story. Because most of the time, it's the guy dealing with it himself. Or if it's done on one-on-one. -on -one. But you don't really get the whole story of when it's done in a public space. What everybody did when they reacted. That's one of the few times you actually get a whole picture. Yeah, I see what you mean. We're almost at a 20-minute mark. Yeah, hey, but yeah, but mm -hmm. progress, you know. <laughs> yeah. I always knew I had a good memory. Made good grades. And my parents gave me a lot of positive feedback because of that. I always knew I was going to be an achiever, and there was no doubt about that. The only doubt was the, the route. There was never a time when I thought of myself as a victim. Never. Not, not one time. You were afraid of being marginalized, right? Sure. Welcome to what it feels like to be black. A man caught on video unleashing a racist rant. An alleged racist incident. Racial bias. Racist tendencies. Racism. Racism from coast to coast. The open racism. Statements of racism. He was brutally beaten by attackers oh, yelling God, racist just... and homophobic slurs. It's a racist drifter. Is it racism? Is it sexism? How do we get white people to see racism as their problem too? That was racist. Racist. Go back to Africa kind of racism. Straight up racist. Racist tweets. Racist tweets. And those tweets are racist. A racial dog. Whistle. The most successful black Americans today are Nigerian Americans because they're not brainwashed by our media. We've heard all about the big explosive cases of racial injustice in America, uh, but that's not what most black people in America deal with. You deal with what we call microaggressions or uh, a thousand cuts of racism every single day. I grew up being told of my disadvantages that this country is unfair to, to black people. You're black, you're not gonna be able to do it. You can't get this, you can't get that, you can't get bank loans. When you walk into a bank, you will get a loan more easily. I can't get over the jerk conservative, conservative thought. Conservative thought. I thugs. can't get over the, I had to read that and double back on it. If you are a white guy. The ideology is implanted into you subconsciously to believe these things. We don't teach our children to have confidence. It's like we're brainwashed to think is it because I'm black? Why are they looking at me like that? How many of you feel judged? How many of you feel feared on sight when people see you? Show of hands. <laughs> we teach them to be scared of this country, to be scared of the world that they live in. It's like a cancerous plague in the mind of black Americans. We try to say that this country does not specialize in racism and bigotry. Oh, I am God. saying that racism exists. I am saying exists. that the United you, States you, of you, America you, But you have the luxury. Country. You have the luxury. See, 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 you're not letting each person talk. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's why y'all That's why y'all get mad at each other. Because you're not... One person talk, other person talk. One per It's not hard. Me and Vito do it. She, she never let her finish a thought at all. Me, me, me and Vito do it every freaking weekend. <laughs> yeah. We don't got... We good, man. We don't... White. 
why, because we learn why from do y'all each fa- other. Like, why do y'all fail at doing That's it? That's the best part of this. We learn from each other. Like, it seems like some of the adults in the room are the biggest children. The, the, like, and no, nobody's brainwashing nobody else. No. no. Just, ain't nobody learn. else. Listen, ain't nobody else in the room except us three right now. Yeah. Okay, and th- there's no there's no script because for some reason you think this is script. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know why anybody thinks. This I, script. I don't why, know right? why you think it's this. We don't have a teleprompter. No, every everything's always been free. First of all, we don't even yeah. got money for a damn teleprompter. No. <laughs> okay, we, What's that look like? Yeah, no, we don't got that money yet. Okay, May, maybe we get some money. You know? I wish we had some writers. <laughs> <money. laughs> <laughs> people writing our show. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, script. maybe who knows. Write some but, skits up. Yeah. <laughs> Even one day. <laughs> but no, nah, we're just... This is a projector screen, bro. You really think we got a yeah. teleprompter? Yeah. Over? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, honestly... I don't even know what her, what the girl on the left's opinion is. I don't even know what it is. At this point, I don't care. But it's like, you can see it on her face. She's like, you ain't even going to let me talk. You're yeah. just going to yell at me. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the point? Whether she's wrong or right, right. you got to like, let the person talk. Just let them talk. Let her finish her thought. Exactly. To be cavalier about it. When you are angry, it's very easy to be deceived. It's very sad to see black people operate in that. There's a lot of members in the black community who they are operating in very negative energy. I call out racism. <laughs> that is maddening to me, and I'm crying about it because it's crazy. If you keep yourself in this constant state of, woe is me, I'm disadvantaged, I'll never accomplish anything, then you won't accomplish anything. It will be a self-fulfilling prophecy for you. If you determine that you can't be successful or that you're oppressed, then you are oppressed. That's the power of the mind. If you believe that you can't, you won't, and you sure as hell won't try. And black America has been programmed to believe that we can't. The country America. was founded on America's racism and bigotry, David. If you turn on a radio she morning. yelling at everybody. Now, you African-American, the cops show up, we don't know if we're going to make it out alive. I'm sorry. The message is clear. If you broke and white in America, you're right. wasting your whiteness. Right. And that's what's being fed into their... <laughs> Wait, what was that? What? If, you, if, if you're, you're broken white in America, you're wasting your whiteness. <laughs> you're wasting your whiteness. You're wasting your whiteness. So I think uh, we, should, we should call it there. <laughs> As part one comes to a close, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna call part one there. Bro, oh mean? my god, <laughs> you're wasting. Your- Dude, whiteness isn't in a vending machine. You can't just break the rest of the body <laughs> and get more whiteness. Just just because you're born white doesn't guarantee you're going to oh. be rich. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. First of all, living in the United States. Oh, my God. It's a privilege. It is. A, exactly. For oh. everyone. The only privilege the we only have is American privilege. The only thing is the mentality oh. that you have. If you want to succeed in life... You got to do it yourself. You can't let the government oh my put God. You, keep you there, which that's going to be in the next oh one. Oh, my. That's, that's so that's, funny. That's, 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 if this discussion was to end up like this, this is going to be like a oh my God. movie. No, I know this was going to happen. <laughs> know, Believe yeah. me, because it's <laughs> one thing after another that we have to discuss. About because this is, this is a lot. And again, if you've never watched this movie before, this is not the best way to watch it. Dude. But, Dude. guys... Oh my God! Keep checking in for part two to get more looks like this for me, dude. <laughs> oh, you know, with that thing, I'm just thinking of y'all. How many? Whiteness. Yo, I bet I guarantee you, rappers, man, if they could just press a button on the vending machine for a number one hit, bro, they'd be putting money in that shit yeah, yeah. every hour, bro. They'd be smashing. They would be just okay, okay, dude. Yep. That, just because you white don't make you mean you're gonna be. There's more poor white people in the country than there's poor black people. Exactly. There's more white people in the country. It's do your numbers. It's First a, of all, just do your numbers. Go back to that calculator, mathematical equation. Yeah, like I'm simple math. Listen, I'm not no engineer, no Einstein with the math, but like even you can figure that one out. I, I can figure that just one out. Just don't listen to the media. Do your like own damn, research. I can figure that shit out. That, that, that's it. But there's a lot of lazy people who do not want to do the research. That's right, what's me, wrong in this fucking country. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me, let me take a right? picture of this so I know what like oh yeah what the, spot the, we the, are. the time stamp right. Oh, yeah. We don't script it. He's taking the picture in the video <laughs> so we know <laughs> when to go back. There we go. You should be looking up. So we're at what? 21. I should. We're at 21. 21, 19. Sweet sauce. Sweet sauce. Jeez. Sweet sauce. Yeah, because this one, this, 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 uh, our recording right now is at 
one hour and five. So yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. This might even be a three parter. Who the hell knows? Yeah, it, uh, I think it is it, gonna it be, it a three might be a five parter by time. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like the Kendrick Lamar album, bro. <laughs> it's, yeah, oh, it's, it's it's only what ten songs. <laughs> Oh, One man. song an hour, Jesus! <laughs> but that's all we got time for. Yeah, today. that's I mean, all we got time is, for today. This is a reaction slash discussion. So exactly, dude. It's very important for us to put this out there. And Ian's it's learning. Well, is. Ian is learning. Oh my God! You're... Because we need to. We need people like well, who I used to you're be your to Wait. see this. But guys, thanks for stopping this past of timeless today. Hit that notification bell and give it a share because mm -hmm. it does help the channel out. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. You know what to do. You know where we're at. Oh my god, that's killing me, dude. Oh, <laughs> that shit was fun. Oh, see you on the next oh, one. Oh yes, yeah, see you next. Later. No.